Hello there, this is Ben with Robison Digital Media, and this is a short video that explains how to install and configure the Short Pixel Adaptive Images plugin on your website. To install it, it's the same as any other plugin. You go to Plugins and click Add New. And then you want to go ahead and search for it, and you can just type in Short Pixel, all one word. And there's two Short Pixel plugins that will come up. The one that we want is the one that's got the rulers here on the right and the bottom of the little robot head, the Short Pixel Adaptive Images plugin. So go ahead and click Install Now, and that takes a minute to download and install. And then once it's installed, you go ahead and click Activate. And that's all there is to it. It's activated now. So if I scroll down here, I can find it, uh, Short Pixel Adaptive Images. And go ahead and click on Settings. And there's really only one thing that you need to change. Here under the General tab, it's set to lossless, which is the, still going to give you the largest file size for your images. Lossy is what they recommend. You can see lossy compression recommended, and so I, I recommend that too. Switch to a lossy form of compression. You want to make sure that this checkbox is checked, that WebP support is enabled. By default, it is. And you go ahead and click Save Changes. And that's really all there is to it. Over here on the Advanced tab, uh, you don't need to really change anything. You don't need to change that API URL. Uh, so that's really all there is to it on your, on your WordPress website. Now, there is one other thing that you need to do over on shortpixel.com. Um, and this is after you've gone ahead and created an account and, and purchased one of their levels of uh, image compression. Go over and click on the admin section, and then under the admin tools here on the left, click on associate domains. And what you'll want to do is grab the URL for your website that you want to add, paste it in here like that, click add domains, and you'll notice now there it is, dev.local is uh, has been added, and it's now associated. So what that's going to do is allow it to run through all of the, the server-side compression that it does so that it can do everything seamlessly in the background. Uh, they call it automagically, and that's really how it works. And that's all there is to it. Now, it might take a, a day or two for all of your images to be, be compressed and, and actually get distributed, um, but give it 24 hours and you can go ahead and test your site speed and you should see a, a big bump in uh, site speed and performance.